Okay, welcome everyone. Uh, today is Saturday, March. Oh my goodness, March already, March 2nd, 2019. And uh, happy you're all on. And uh, it's uh, exciting. There's a lot going on in Relive, and I'm excited. I hope everybody else is. And, you know, this is business success training. And so let's talk about business success. And uh, what has everyone been doing that you're excited about to make? your business successful. Anyone like to share? This is Christina, I'll share. Hey, Christina, thank you. Hello, hello. Well, last night I did a fabulous power hour with Louise Cole. <laughs> Yay. So much fun, you know, doing business, doing life together with friends so it's always fun to just catch up and we were talking about how um, some people my age just need to see this vision of being able to work from home because you know it's really fun to be able to earn a couple hundred bucks while you're just at home and not um, having to be stuck in traffic or just being somewhere where you don't want to be so yeah so it's so much fun being able to build my business that way Okay. That's awesome, Christina. And, um, you know, <clears throat> it is true because younger and you're seeing a different way, you're choosing a different path. And, you know, it's not what we normally see. So good for you. And yes, we do need more young people to catch that vision. So thank you for sharing. Anyone else like to share today? Yes, well, I, I would like to share. I would like to share. My name is Lana Lampert. And I formerly lived in California, and now I'm in Oregon. And I've been um, helping, hey. uh, I've been helping uh, a master of the race, who was my second level. I work with two women who uh, both have cancer. They both get a master of the race order. And so Alex um, was able to earn almost two thousand dollars a month, and he was number three in the country. And he was number three in the country. And Tom Pinnock had called me, and it was so exciting last week. So I'm so excited that my business is growing and I'm really helping people. That's awesome. Congratulations. And someone's not muted. There, I can hear you talking over the rest. So I'm going, I'm going to mute everybody. And if you speak, then you'll have to. Yeah. That was Diane. I was wondering what the person's name was that Lana had sponsored that was in the top three that was me asking oh that was his you name is, his name his name is Al, alex alex Cobb. wonderful he, i want to share my month. month i had a very good month you guys awesome um, i just i i really want to get to hawaii and um I'm having a slow turtle start, but um, you know what? I took my book with all my radio leads. I have hundreds from when I advertised for five years. And I just have this little script that I read, you know, and, um, and uh, just I'll leave a message and tell them to get back to me. Just wanted to reconnect for some reason. We didn't connect and I don't know what it was, but you know, are they interested in talking with me? And it, it's pretty good. It's, it's a very good script, short, sweet. And I called about 50 people, three responded, and three quick started. The three awesome. quick started. One went to see Tom Pinnock and Eric Bill in Chicago, and she is like very excited. And the three um, are gonna go to Tommy Moody's um, Thursday night event in Chicago. And what's cool is I'm here in Vegas because we're snowbirds here, but they still can go there. And then I brought in a master affiliate, and then I had three auto ships. So I earned all three bonuses last month, and I'm at 20 points for Hawaii, so I'm excited. Wow, see, slow start. That's okay, Diane. You're moving right along. And uh, congratulations, uh, Lana, for Tom Pinnock calling you and, and your successes. So, yes, it is exciting, you know, to help and share and and I got a personal note from Tom Pinnock because I did get a master affiliate. And, you know, his little personal note was, you know, <clears throat> we're helping people. We're changing lives. So isn't that fun? Anyone else like to yeah. share? Hello? 
this is Kelly Orteza, and I haven't been around in a long time, but I got excited this month to um, actually um, requalified for master affiliate. So um, I'm really excited. I had three starts, and um, I'm getting some people that I had dropped just because I wasn't being active, and I came back to them and apologized, and they were open, and so I'm excited to help them uh, feel better and to continue on my business. Awesome, Kelly, and isn't it nice? We can just pick up and get going again, so congratulations to you. Thank you. And I'd like to say that Kelly had four quick starts last month. Yeah, that's incredible. Awesome and great work, Thank you know? We can back out a little bit and we can pick up and we can move even faster. So, yeah. you know, and just think what happens. I mean, you know, we have the, the turtle kind of goes along and, you know, and, you know, we just can go as fast as we want. And then once we get going, we're on fire and it's, it's all good. Anyone else like to share? Okay, well, no one else is going to share. We'll get started. I am going to mute everyone. Okay. All right. So, you know, like I said, it's business success training. My name is Luann Piccarelli, and I live in Orem, Utah, and uh, I've had a lot of success with the business, with the products, uh, totally has impacted myself and my family and many others. And, you know, just lately, uh, my basic story, I guess I should start out with that. My basic story is my friend cared enough about me to share Relive and I'm so grateful that she did because I had no idea the impact that Relive would have on my life nor my family's. But I got amazing results. Uh, my doctor told me surgery was my only option with degenerative disc disease. And my friend didn't know I'd been told that. But, you know, quickly uh, on the products, my pain was the thing of the past. And six months on the product at the neurosurgeon's office, I was told I did not need surgery with degenerative disc disease. And that was great news to me. My body's allergic to chemicals and I knew it'd be a long recovery. And you know, my sinus issues, uh, you know, they improved and constipation problems went away. I had more energy. My husband and I owned an automotive business. And I mean, we were worn out, burned out and stressed out. But I even handled that business better and I could keep up. And I had, you know, the stress level was just amazing um, at my thought process. It wasn't even just physical results. It was my mind. And, you know, if an employee didn't show up for work, um, it didn't matter anymore. Okay, plan A didn't work. Let's go to plan B. So, you know, my life just really got better all the way around. Uh, osteoporosis improved and, you know, so many benefits. I put my mom on the product at age 80. She avoided kidney dialysis. She only has one kidney. At 92, that kidney is still functioning in normal ranges. You know, to say it gave her a quality of life, absolutely. Um, I watched my father die from complications of kidney dialysis, and he had no quality of life. My mom has had a quality of life. And, you know, that's what I believe it's really all about. We don't make any claims for cures, but it is quality of life. Um, I learned I had a genetic heart issue, and... Uh, I didn't know that. Uh, my body makes too much cholesterol. I have no heart disease, but um, my body just makes all this cholesterol. And the doctors told me it was totally genetic because I have no heart, like I said, no heart disease, no problems like that. And nothing I did would make a difference. They wanted me to take medications, but they're chemicals and where I'm allergic to chemicals, it just does not work for me. So I did a lot of studying about the Relive products and learned which ones could help me. And I will tell you, you know, my cholesterol is in normal ranges. And the doctor said that that could not happen, but it has. And I am so grateful also for the Purify with the Fit3 program because that really put me in better ranges even than I was. I mean, I dropped 79 points cholesterol with the Lunar Rich X and taking them for before bedtime. But that purify because 
you know, cholesterol is made in the liver. And I decided I didn't have a heart problem. I had a liver problem that made the heart problem. So, you know, I am so grateful that my friend cared enough about me to share Relive with me. So how do we succeed with Relive? You know, you've heard some successes and excitement out there and people that have been doing Relive for a while and people that have stopped doing it for a little while but are excited about it again and coming. You know, it is our business. We can do it however we choose. Um, but, you know, there is a circle of success and these fundamentals, you know, we have corporate support, we have daily activities, and we can decide how we do it and how much we want to do. And like Christina said, too, you know, young people need to see this because they can decide and have, you know, a better quality of life and that success in a different realm than traditionally we are taught. But, you know, the circle of success, it all is fueled by new people. So, you know, Diane mentioned she has this list, you know, from radio ads, and so she's not now gone back to it. And that's what it's about, it's new people. So how do new people come into our life? They come into our life every day. So how important are new people? We fuel our business with new people. So I would say that's the number one importance in having a relive business to be really successful. The other reason that I think, you know, it's been really um, in my thought process the last while, new people bring new volume because all these bonuses, you know, new people help you earn those points to Hawaii. Um, 15,000 PGPV in new volume. It's not just PGPV, it's in new volume. You know, we can earn 12 month subscription to the Relive Web Bundle, uh, which includes your personal website and distributor dashboard and the Relive mobile app. Oh, and by the way, you know, Tom said, new personal websites will be introduced at Relive Live in Concord, April 5th and 6th, coming up. So how exciting is that? We'll have a new product line he talked about, special training for business builders. You know, it's just getting better and better, that corporate support. Um, you know, we've had it all along, but it just keeps improving. We have a special segment opportunity presentation, and March brings weekly pay for wholesale and retail. Think about that. You know, if you need to earn extra money, weekly, you can do that. Um, especially if you're on direct deposit, and you'll be notified with your mobile app. So... You know, you can also earn free registration to the next Relive Live event. Um, accomplish the same thing in a second month. This is all for, you know, the Sales Excellence Award. But, you know, and you, if you do it, the 15,000 PGPV in new volume in one month, and then if you do it the second month, you receive a free Microsoft Surface Pro. And if you do it a third month, and earn, you earned a trip to a leadership retreat at Relive headquarters in St. Louis. Airfare, two night hotel, plus expenses, two days at the Relive office, you know, be part of a promotional video, photo shoots, celebrity, you know, and a special dinner with Tom Pinnock and Ryan Montgomery, you know, Relive CEO. So how important is new people? What is new volume? You know, sometimes we hear these things and sometimes until we start doing it, at least for me, I don't see the whole picture. So PGPV in a calendar month for any distributor or customer registered in that specific month is considered new volume. And you can track it on your dashboard and that's really cool. Your personal volume is new volume. Clovis Foundation uh, donations do not count, but the volume must be purchased from Relive and be in the new person's account, new person again. So to earn volume bonuses of like the 5,000, 3,000, 2,000, um, you know, that 15,000 minimum new volume is required. Bonus amounts are reduced by 50% when your new volume is between 7,500 and 15,000. 
So uh, the top three new volume, less than 7,500, there's no qualification. So, and the volume must be purchased from Relive, and like I mentioned, in the new person's account. So that opportunity is through July 2019. So have you caught the vision how important new people are? New volume brings great rewards. So circle of success. We've seen this a lot of times. If you're new to uh, this training, you may not have, but um, you know, it's action. And that's what it's all about is action taking, you know, finding those new people and, uh, you know, those five steps. Um, and, you know, I'm going to focus on just a few of them. I do want to touch just a minute on the register and go because, you know, I had an experience last week and I, I had a thought that if I would have done it a little different when it got to the register and go, I might have got it done. But this was kind of an interesting experience. The lady had been deciding since September of last year to do a quick start. And she'd say, well, call me this day. And so I would, and then something had come up and then it was call me this day and I would, and something had come up and, you know, it was just a continued thing to the point that I thought it's just not going to happen. And so she said another appointment and she said, call me at two o'clock. And I did. And the same thing happened. So like I said, this was going on and on. And so I thought, okay, you know, I finally said to her, well, when you're ready, you call me. And so she did call me and she said, I have my product already. I know what I need to order, what I want to order. And I need to do this quick start. And I said, okay. And so we got ready to do it and she already was a preferred customer. So we looked up her preferred customer number and <clears throat> ready to put her in. And she goes, Oh, I'm not by a computer. And Oh, I just noticed I have five minutes to get to the dentist. So I thought, okay. So she said, call me at two o'clock, called at two o'clock. She wasn't home. So very honestly, I didn't, I thought it, you know, it's just not going to happen. But at three o'clock, she did call me back and apologize and she was ready and she did get registered and went and we got her started on that quick start. But the interesting thing, my thought process later was, what if I would have, I mean, I did offer to do it for her, but you know, I should have just taken all the information and got it all taken care of for her because in her mind, it was making her think it was too hard of a process that she couldn't do in five minutes. And so, you know, it's good to evaluate. Could we do it a little more efficiently? You know, how can we um, get through each one of these steps um, and take that action now? So <clears throat> identify, you know, not only making a list uh, when we identify 10 prospects, 10 business prospects, product prospects, you know, why we thought of them, uh, you know, whether they're a lead, whether we're just thinking about them, and we put down a list of people, you know, who are we going to contact, you know, thinking about identify, it's not only making the list, but it's identifying what's important to the new person. Now, you're not going to know that right at first, but, you know, you have to keep that in mind when you write this person down and identify the person. That's not all it is. There's more to identify than just making the list. You need to think, you know, and develop and find out what by identifying what's important to the new person. So when you know what's important to the new person, you'll know how to really connect so what do most people want? They want to feel better, live longer, better quality of life, have more money, more family time. Where is their treasure? Maybe they want to help children go to college, graduate debt free. How do you know what's important? So how do we find their treasure? Because there's always new people to talk to. 
There's family, friends, work, church, school, social media, ads, you know, ways to add to your list. But is the list the only way to identify? Identify goes deeper than just making your list. So Tom Pinnock says, I need to move this just one second. Okay, so Tom, I think it was a blog that he wrote just lately. And, uh, you know, it's all about skill. The more we learn and master skills, the better we become at our relive business. And Tom talks about, he thinks the number one skill, and it is a skill, is communication. And communication doesn't mean just to talk. It means we listen. We find out what people want so we can identify that treasure. So the more I improve my skills, the more I improve my business. So do we talk with people or do we talk at them? There is a difference. Uh, when we really connect through communication, the new person will tell us what they want. If we're not listening, we're not going to hear it. By knowing this, we're closing at the beginning, in a sense, not the end, and eliminating 100% of the objections. We're being told word for word what to say, because isn't that the question a lot of times? What do I say? But if we're listening, we're being told what to say and show them how Relive can help them to get what they want. So. By listening, we find out what people want. And we're gaining invaluable knowledge to know how to help them to get that treasure. And, you know, his story about Mindy Jones, you know, going to work for her daughter. He put her picture up on his fridge and he went to work every day for Mindy's daughter because Mindy wanted to be home with her daughter. So you go to work and you help them get what they want. It's not about us. You know, we often hear, we take ourselves out, you know, of the picture. And it's a whole different way of looking at things because it's not about us. It's about them. So, you know, we present from our heart, not our head, not just doing the presentation, not just talking about the product, not just talking about the compensation plan, you know, there's a place for that and we need to teach people, but you know, we need to connect and identify and present from our heart. Fine. So we connect with the other person's treasure. So the benefits are 80% of what we should be sharing and the details only 20%. And I thought this was a really great article that Tom wrote. Because so many times we get into the details of the whys and, you know, we, it's kind of human nature, I think, you know, it's those details and we think we have to tell all those details. But, you know, after a while people quit listening and they want to hear the benefits. What's in it for me? How's it going to help me? So, you know, Tom makes a few statements and I think this is a one minute business skill. Less is more. My products can help you lose weight and feel great. It says a lot. My products can help you fit into your skinny jeans, sleep better and have more energy. I posted on Facebook, I got a new wardrobe and it didn't cost me anything. Excuse the typo there. It didn't cost me anything because I had gained some weight with Fit3. I dropped 13 pounds, five inches around the waist and I could fit into my clothes that I hadn't been able to wear. And a lot of people responded to that. So what about my business can help you spend more quality time with your family? Isn't that what people want? A lot of times, you know, corporate jobs, our business, our uh, automotive business. I mean, it was totally backwards. We thought we'd have more time with the family, but it owned us. And we didn't have that time with our family. Matter of fact, we had less time. And 
I talked with my friend the other day. She was in corporate America. She says, I liked corporate America, Luann, but it was time consuming. So what about this statement? My business can help you quit that job you dread getting up for every morning. Or my business can help you make a real difference in people's lives. What about, I just found out how to make an additional 500 or $1,000 a month, whatever number you want to put in there. I just found out. I just found out how to go to Hawaii for free. I just found out how to earn a $5,000 bonus. I just found out how to get free product. Can we get free product? Quick starts, absolutely. And when you just found out something and you make that statement, then change the subject. Allow the person to ask, let it sink in. Don't go on, you know, it's that one minute statement. Many people make a decision before you ever present the information about the company, the product and the compensation plan. Um, I know Donna made a decision before I ever told her about the company and the products and how she could save money because she witnessed her friend no longer walking with a cane and not needing a wheelchair. She was in a seated walker and she lives on a fixed income, but immediately she decided to do a quick start. All I had to do was help her get registered and get started. David was surprised. She went, she said, I want that $500 product value to get started because he knew she was on a fixed income. So what made Donna decide? It was they connected. It was David's story. And it was, it didn't have anything to do with my presentation. She had already decided because she had seen David's results. She wanted the same results. So, you know, we connect. And David connected with Donna. And so, you know, what do I say? Share the excitement. And just some of those things that I just, you know, just mentioned that Tom said, it's, it's short. We don't need a lot of information. But using their why. Let them know you care. So you use company tools to validate and you set an appointment. And you know, that's exactly what David did. David got awesome results. He wasn't using a cane anymore. He was supposed to be fitted for or scheduled for an electric wheelchair the day be after I told him about Relive and then he didn't need it. In one week, he was bending over and touching his toes. And so when Donna saw this, that's what she wanted. And so Donna was consistent. She was a consistent student and she did get results. The swelling in her leg decreased, her hips were feeling better. And the night Donna became a quick start, her husband attended David's birthday party where Relive was actually served to adults and children in ice cream shakes. Well, Mike didn't speak. He had Alzheimer's. He had a cane, a lot of hip pain. And, you know, he was there, but that was it. And Donna didn't give him the Relive products. She only took them for a year. And then two weeks ago, she decided that she would put her husband on the Relive products because he was told he needed hip surgery. Well, I got a call and I said, they said, come over and talk with Mike. I had been there before as I was teaching Donna how to use the products, how to get results. And Mike never ever spoke. But this day, two weeks of being on Relive, he offered me a chair. He was all smiles. He was speaking. He invited me to sit and visit. He told me his hip pain was gone and he was sleeping better. And he said, my neuropathy's gone. He no longer needed his cane. He said, sometimes I carry it just to, I'm afraid it's going to wear off. And he was standing there without that cane. And he said, I couldn't do this two weeks ago. 
and I'm saving $50 copay now because I don't have to go back to the doctor. Oh, by the way, the black spot that I saw on the paper for macular degeneration is no longer there. Share the excitement. Wow, I was excited. He almost had me in tears. And big smile on his face, communicating. It was incredible. Set an appointment, follow up. I follow up, I, I've gone to their home. I've seen this, you know, following up in not just by phone calls, personal contact, and you may not always be able to do that because of distance. And so we have the tools to be able to connect and share excitement. <clears throat> so, you know, when you think about this story, David and Donna and Mike are selling themselves by sharing their relive story. So the more I allow them to talk about their improvements, the more they are selling themselves, connecting them to others and allowing them to tell their story, the more they are selling themselves. Who is the best presenter? The person presenting to themselves. It's not me, it's them. The person you're talking to, the new person, they're presenting to themselves. So the most compelling story is their story. Allow the prospect to present to you. Everybody loves a good story. You know, we have stories all over about heroes and fairy tales and, you know, and it's, it's a good story. The difference with Relive, these are true stories. The new person will tell you what their treasure is in their story as we listen. So there is a time that we share our story, but my story isn't as important as theirs. My why is important to me. My belief is important to me and to my heart, and I can help other people by sharing my story. Um, I receive uh, a call from a lady down in Florida. I have never personally met her, only on the phone. I was introduced to her by another distributor. And this lady is wanting to build a relive business, but she's afraid. And she's new. And she said, I don't know that much. So she connected me to like six people, six of her lady friends, more than once. And I shared and I allowed them to ask questions. And they learned a lot. Well, prior to that, Janet says to me, I'm not feeling very well, Luann. I'm losing my voice. I have laryngitis. And I said, oh, have you tried reverse age? because reverse age always brings my voice back when I have laryngitis. And I told her how to use the products and make a Arth Effect tea with some reverse age energize and some Arth Effect and, you know, to help her to feel better. She was kind of feeling like she was catching a cold, a flu, whatever. And I got a text from her later and she said, I felt so good after that. I went to church and thank you for sharing. So we're teaching, but it's not always just expand, you know, telling our story. We, we teach, we engage, we share the whole Relive story, the products, the business. You know, we have so many tools that we can use, presentation tools, opportunity books, and new ones coming, slides, videos, mobile app, you know, webinars, just like this. We introduce others and our upline and of to other relive stories. I remember in the very beginning when I started doing presentations, my, the person that introduced me to relive, she would take me with her because we lived close and she'd say, okay, you do this and I'll do that. And that's how I learned because I was sharing and I was teaching and 
selling myself in a sense. I was learning myself. So Tom suggests that communications is also emails, text, letters, and so forth. What about birthday cards? I learn when I text to end with the word yes. Is four o'clock the best time to me? Yes, question mark. As we hear the word yes over and over, our minds begin to accept and respond with yes. Words are powerful. Think how to use your words very effectively. And we ask for a decision. Like I said, new people are everywhere. So a little gal comes to help my mom. I didn't mention relive. And she was quiet. I didn't know she'd be interested, you know. And she really didn't talk much. She came in. She was learning what she was doing, you know, getting familiar how to help my mom. And as she came each week, she started telling me about her classes in college. And she was taking a nutrition class. I asked questions about her goals and, you know, she started telling me how interested in nutrition she was. And then one day she came and my mother was drinking her shake. And so the conversation came up again and I started telling her that I worked with the nutrition company and I learned she was so interested because her father had a heart condition. So we had a conversation and I repeated her words back to her about how important nutrition was because she had been telling me that. So I kind of paraphrased and she was really interested, asked me for more information. Now she's asking me, I'm not telling her, she's asking me and I find those are better relationships. So I said, I asked her if I could send her some information and I did from my mobile app. I sent her Dr. Fred's information about you know, a little short video about the lunacin, the lunar rich, why it's important, wellness and science. And the next time she came back, I asked, have you had a chance to look at the information I sent you? Well, I knew she did because I had seen it on my mobile app. I said, and she said, oh yes, I did. And she said, I want to buy some product for my dad. And so we talked about purchasing the product and I said, would you like to learn more about how you can purchase the product? And she said, yes. Yeah. So now we've set an appointment for Thursday and I've sent her more information. So sometimes it's a one step at a time. It doesn't always happen all the time. So I didn't have to ask her for a decision. She was asking me. So because I listened to identify what she really wanted and then I connected her through my mobile app. And then I shared my story a little bit about my heart situation. And then she wanted to set an appointment because she wants to order product. So it's one step at a time, a lot of times. Sometimes we just think, you know, it's gotta be all at once and it doesn't. And then it's, a, it's follow up. And sometimes it can be a lot of follow up, like, from September to February, but it's all good because we're changing people's lives and it Relive works. So be ready to help them register. We have a lot of ways and a lot of tools to help us to get people registered and help them when they have made their decision. These are some of the tools and there's many more coming out. Um, like I said, I love the mobile app. So engage with other people, engage our teams. We develop a library of stories. Like the lady from Florida, she sends me a gift. She sent me a gift for Christmas. She sent me a gift for Valentine's. One of these days I'm going to meet her personally. She's such a caring person and helping many people, but she had that fear. And so by connecting me and helping me to engage with the people she is a little afraid to talk to, she'll become more confident. And you know, that builds relationships and it builds ambassadors and 
you know, we stay engaged to what is going on in Relib. Um, I love these, you know, at the first of the month, Tom tells us, you know, about the new promotions. And uh, we have so much information to stay engaged, you know, so that we, uh, the Relive emails, the blogs, um, social media, pick one. You don't even have to do them all. And goals. We set goals. We review the road to presidential director. We stretch their thinking. While we stretch somebody else's thinking, it also stretches our thinking. You know, what will it take to help another? person to become a key director if that's their goal what will it be to help the key direct the next key director in your organization i set some goals this month and it was really interesting because i just focused i focused my thought process and even though my mom was in the hospital for four days you know i was a little short of achieving where my goal i really wanted it but i did all i could and i more than doubled what I had been doing. So it was good. So those goals are very important to set. Um, open someone's door. Allow that light of relive to be part of their life by listening and communicating, truly learning the communication skill. And I think there's a lot of depth to the communication skill. At least there has been for me and it's it's a pro it's a process of learning these skills that help us to become more effective so what is the skill of hope we offer hope we've often heard relive is hope in a can if you think about donna and mike and david it was hope i didn't know david i went out of my comfort zone i stopped on a corner and talked to him of my street but he was open to hear that hope and so hope is help other people evolve he's evolving he called me the other day hey Lou Ram, do you know i went over to ruth's house it's a relative and she wasn't feeling good and you told me that energize helped with mucus and he said i didn't dare give her a lot because i had heard a story some years ago with a man with cystic fibrosis and he said the energized pulled mucus so quick out of his lungs that he had to go slow on it and i had related that story to david like i said everybody has a story and those stories stay and stick and this story stuck with me so i related that so david said i only gave ruth one fourth a scoop of energize she couldn't breathe and she had all this mucus and she was struggling with her lungs and two lunar rich x capsules in a few minutes she was feeling better even her daughter noticed she said mom you look like you're feeling better she said yeah i can breathe better and he kept saying one fourth a scoop help other people evolve it's hope So why is Relive important to you? Why is Relive important to the person that you're identifying? Why will it become important? You can ask, do me a favor. Imagine how you would think that that would make you feel. How is this, you know, how do you feel? Would you like to do something about it? Would you like to do something now? Learn the skills that drive the money-making areas of your business because the rest falls into place. We have great products. We all have the same products. We can all be successful. It's not just for one person to be successful. It's learning the skills that drive the money-making areas of your business and listening and communicating. The professional mindset will build 80% and more to agree to look at your business or your products. When we help by being coaches, like Tina, she coaches with the Fit3, we coach people with our business and the products, improving, health and finances and to those that we introduce to relive 
and to become and help them to become business builders. Our skill level improves the more we do it. And the more we improve our skills, it delivers bigger checks and more results. So we each have the same system, the products, the comp plan. Relive is giving us so much support, new product line, the best products already, new tools to add to the many tools we already have. And I believe communication and stories are two of the biggest skills we have. What did Bob Montgomery say? He always, you know, see important upon the person's forehead, make them feel important. With skill, you end up with no no shows. It becomes ancient history when we engage with the new person and always set up follow up time. Follow up right in the middle of this circle. Identify, connect, share the story, ask for a decision, register and go. Follow up, follow up in every one of those categories. And we engage with them and are they ready to do something about it? When we paraphrase back what they told us, because we listened, is that what you mean? So you're telling me that you need additional money to help your children in college. If I can show you how to do that, would you do something about it? Are you ready to do something about it? So Tom says it's all about them, and we know this, it is. So the more we engage, we give them homework, we help them listen on the phone to learn that they can do it if they decide to join us in the Relive business. Like Christina said, we need to teach younger people, so how do we teach them? Put them on a phone and let them listen. Listen to learn, that's how I learned. It was listening to other people's stories. It was listening to training. Like, you know, we didn't have web uh, webinars then. We did all connected into a conference call. We can connect with conference calls. We connect with three-way calls. And the more we communicate, the more our business will grow. We teach others to evolve, engage and communicate to duplicate. So who are we gonna help next? I thank each of you for being on training today and uh, let's engage and communicate and duplicate.